What's up guys? I am back and if you remember last video <laughs> Last video I unboxed some scroller box items and I'll link for that in the description box below for this theme I wanted to do the stranger worlds that came in the second box So I figured it matched most likely my style. So at first Actually, that's not true. This one is a crystal turtle, but the first drawing that I actually made was a surfing turtle. I really wanted to do a turtle, but I didn't know how or what. But then the colors kind of inspired me to do a cave kind of drawing. Now, as you can see, for the green, I didn't have two greens. So I decided to shade with the gray, and I think it worked out pretty well. The only issue I would say with these markers is probably not the marker itself, but the paper that it came with, which is very absorbent of the color so it left a lot of streaks so i tried to make the shell a little lighter by going through with the dry markers idea behind this drawing is I wanted something that was kind of reflecting the mood that I was in so the surfing turtle definitely didn't work how I was feeling I, I was kind of feeling a bit of a hermit and at the same time I had all these ideas brewing in my head and I absolutely love color so I feel like the crystals in this case worked like my ideas and how I'm just staying indoors and I just want to be a hermit and I don't want to go outside and these these ideas are just kind of growing and brewing in my mind so that's kind of the imagination I had when I was doing this drawing now I want to talk a little bit about these highlighters it's so weird because I had completely ignored the fact that something smelled really nice in that same room and I was like what is that smell it smells like candy and it turns out that these highlighters smell like berries, which was weird, but it smelled so nice. So the palette of colors that I had to work with was very limited, so I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the ground, so I kind of went with the only color that I didn't use, which was the dry marker, kind of like a reddish pinkish color, and then I messed up because I was like, oh, maybe I can do some kind of blending, and I, I, tr I really don't know what happened here. I don't know what I was trying to do. Oh, okay, I remember. I was actually trying to do a contour, and I was like, wait, that's too much purple. I was like, no, let me try and remove it. So I used some water on a Q-tip to see if I can kind of make it into a watercolor effect. And that did not work. I totally messed up and I was like, eh, gotta find a way to hide that mistake. So I did later on kind of hide that mistake by making, you'll see it, it only shows because I talked about it. But everyone else that I showed it to were like, oh, I don't, I don't see where the mistake was. Because I kind of did a shadow in the background, like there's a deeper part of the cave kind of making the darkness come inside. I let my love die and I walked away. I let my love die and I looked away from the last of my home.
little turtle stand out. I really needed a dark background. But again, the markers, I don't think anything was wrong with them. It really was the paper. It was not ideal for blending. It was just absorbing way too quickly. So the splotches were there. So I figured might as well roll with the punches and it could just kind of look like this odd lighting in there. So it's really not the markers fault because I tested them on actual alcohol paper and they seem to have been doing pretty well. So here you can see I'm, I'm doing like this deepest part of the cave right on top of where I had messed up so it kind of looks like I don't know, like a, like a shadow lighting? Does that even make any sense? Let's just pretend it makes sense in this little world where the turtle's floor is yellow and um, it's growing crystals <laughs> on its back. So I decided to go with the Mangaka liner. And to be honest, it was really, really fun to use because depending on how much pressure you put, you definitely had a different thickness. I don't have mastery of you know, outlining because I think I'm lacking so much confidence that I end up shaking and messing up a little bit. So I try to compensate by going really slowly. I really didn't expect to do this part with anything darker than a pencil because I just didn't want it to be too invasive but then it looked weird being in pencil so I used the other mangaka the felt tip one and it gave me way more control to make the thinner lines so I'm pretty happy with having changed my mind <laughs> Where has my fire gone? I lost the will to I fade away I let my love die and I For the crystals I used the aquarellable aquarellable <laughs> pencil and I have to say it is definitely one of my favorite items in these boxes because it's kind of like a jelly roll for highlights but not really like a jelly roll I really liked it because it layered so easily on every kind of medium so I really like these and I'm probably going to see if there are other colors or if white is the only thing that they make. And of course you can splotch it with some water. So make sure you check out that video where I test out these materials. Now I don't have enough confidence to add highlights on a turtle because I'm like, yeah, I don't want to ruin it. So I just kind of said, you know, let's, let's keep the crystals shiny, but not the turtle. I wanted the crystals to have this kind of emanating light feeling so I took the dry marker in yellow and I went around the edges of the marker to give it this kind of shiny light feel to it. And here you have it, my little crystal turtle. I am such a noob but I love doing these scrawler challenges with markers and paint and it really does challenge me. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Wake up and feel the love.